the fact that I can spit out those words of um, I work for myself, I'm self-employed, I'm an entrepreneur, I think is crazy. Like if you told me four or five years ago that I would be working for myself, I'd say yeah, like I do someday, but I wouldn't have said that like it's happening and I'm somewhat thriving. When I first started out, and I was everything to everybody. If you were like, hey, come to our event and just record video, or uh, hey, we need graph design, or this or that, I was, I was saying yes to everything, and I had to. Because I, I, I really had like no money. And it took a good two or three years where I, was con and I still am involving my niche. But I With me, there is no consistent paycheck, uh, financial predictability, um, and I have to figure out how can I manage my expectations of both the way I want to live my life, personally, professionally, financially, but also I think my mental health. Like I've had some highs, highs where I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe the work I'm doing and, the, and, and you know, contracts that I'm getting and, and the impact we're making and other times I'll be like oh my god we're gonna get this opportunity to work with this client and then they go they ghost me I don't hear from them and it's like what I do it's, it's almost like imagine going on job interviews like multiple times a month and that's how I feel when I put a proposal out into the world or I meet with somebody it's a, it's a whole it's a, it's a brand new it's a brand new job interview and it can really mess with you a lot like I don't hunt I don't eat and so there's been a lot of adversity. It hasn't been rainbows and butterflies by any, any means. But I finally realized, one, most of my background and connections and work has been in higher education, so I need to embrace that. Two, there's a lot of nonprofits and associations around Washington, D.C. that I, can, I have and can do work for. And three, I have empathy and context for startups, and I work out of a startup ecosystem, I can serve them and help them, and I can work with a variety of budgets. So over the years, where I used to say stuff to everything, I now am branded FY and Creative as we're a digital storytelling and video production agency that has, not just serves, but has expertise in higher ed, nonprofits, and startups. And if you asked me that tagline like in 2014, 15, or 16, it would be like really, really broad. And I think that's, that's helped my business development and people to be like, oh, this is the person, this is the company, this is the person that you want to do training because of this. Or they have helped out this entity in a, in a higher ed institution and they can do more of that. So that's, that's why, when you start to define your niche, and I think I can continue to get more specific. So I think people automatically define you as an expert in one or two or three areas versus just the video guy. Because I could be the video guy and we, I could go then film coffee, breweries, wineries, nonprofits, but I don't want to be just the video guy because I understand the whole digital marketing ecosystem and, and how to digitally tell your story. So that's why I've become an, become an expert in three different areas versus just being known as one thing.